Michael Saylor has finally given his take on BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF. He says that this will send it and be a huge catalyst for the next evolution of crypto markets. Listen. There's a growing consensus that Bitcoin is a unique and valuable international asset, and that's being endorsed by politicians. It's being endorsed by regulators. It's being endorsed by investors. You're hearing money managers like Larry Fink say this. And that has created a change in sentiment. You know, the the, the odds of, a, of spot ETF being approved were 1% six months ago. Then they went to 50%. And this morning, they were 65%, according to Blue. Bloomberg analyst. So that's really driving the near term sentiment. But plus the fact that there's so much chaos in the crypto industry, Bitcoin is emerging as the safe haven institutional asset if you want to play this space without trying to parse through the politics, the legal and the, the regulatory complexity. Larry Fink is one of the most powerful shadow men in the world. BlackRock has 10 trillion in assets under management. Experts agree this is a big deal. I think the most important thing that happened this year in Bitcoin is Larry Fink. Uh, he got orange pilled, as we say. Orange pill is when you take a non believer and you make him a believer in Bitcoin. And Larry was a non believer, and now he says, hey, this is going to be a global currency. People around the world all trust it. Well, BlackRock is the biggest asset. BlackRock is now doing an ETF or trying to do an ETF for Bitcoin. Yes. Is that a big change in the industry? Yes. For, for Larry in particular, right, who, who was the CEO of this iconic company to say, I believe in this, right? That That's kind of huge because again, like when Elizabeth Warren says, well, I don't believe in Bitcoin. I'm like, well, Elizabeth, Larry Fink does, Stan Druckenmiller does, Jeff Yoss does, uh, the richest person in your state, you know, uh, Abby Johnson does. Like, just because you don't doesn't mean it's not real, right? Value comes from when people believe there's value. And now we have this preponderance of evidence, 180 million people around the world that without a gun to their head, take their hard earned savings and store it in this community of people that run this technology, you know, called Bitcoin. So knowing that BlackRock is getting into crypto in such a huge way, what altcoins will BlackRock be interested in? Not Digibyte, not Theta, not Tron, at least I don't think, what crypto projects is BlackRock already partnered with? Let's talk about all this. Here's my list of altcoins making BlackRock level moves. Polygon, do not count Polygon out. I reported this news to you yesterday and a lot of people roasted me in the comments saying Toyota is just using Polygon for some digital trophies, not a huge deal, barely worth mentioning. I think this is a huge deal. Toyota, one of the biggest car companies in the world, choosing Polygon exclusively to work with. And Toyota by themselves, maybe not a huge deal, but we report stuff like this to you all the time. And you can see what a big deal it is by the numbers here. Polygon continues to hold the number two spot behind Ethereum. It is an Ethereum layer two, the number two spot behind Ethereum in 24 hour NFT sales volume. So excuse me, Polygon is on another level with its partnerships, its users, its innovation. You don't think that BlackRock is looking into Polygon? Polkadot. So many people in crypto think of Polkadot as a dead project. If you think Polkadot is a dead project, that just shows me that you don't follow crypto like we follow crypto. Take a look at these headlines. This is just from days ago. Polkadot and its test network Kusama continue to outrun the crypto space in terms of development activity, according to Santiment. The details on Polkadot are as follows. Interoperability blockchain Polkadot and its canary network Kusama continue to outrun the rest of the crypto space in terms of development activity. Polkadot and Kusama both registered 527.7 notable GitHub commits in the past 30 days, leading all other crypto projects. What do I take away based on this info? Three things. Santiment, the analytics firm, says that high levels of development activity can one, indicate developers have faith a crypto project will be successful. Two, development activity also indicates that a crypto project could be shipping new features. And three, it decreases the possibility that a crypto asset is an exit scam. By the way, what comes after Polkadot? Ethereum, Cardano, and internet computer. So do I think that BlackRock is involved in Polkadot today? Honestly, I think it's a long shot. Likely no. Do I think that BlackRock will have to contend with Polkadot and projects like Polkadot in the future as Polkadot grows? 
I do. Hey, join us at Bitcoin Amsterdam, October 12th and 13th. This is an epic Bitcoin conference. Use code altcoin daily, 10% off tickets. Get this ticket or get this ticket. Ticket prices increase as we get closer to the event. So many awesome speakers are being added every single day. Use code altcoin daily for 10% off. Hope to see you there. We know that BlackRock is involved with Coinbase directly which is why I want to bring this new project to your attention. Coinbase's base network has released a user interface for its official bridge, allowing end users to onboard for the first time without relying on dev tools. The team has set August 9th as base's official release date. The team will award over 100 ether worth approximately 184,000 in grants to developers and content creators as part of a month long launch event called on-chain summer. So Coinbase's new L2 is called base. They're calling their launch on-chain summer. This officially launches August 9th and you can bridge and mint different NFTs today as part of their commemoration to kick off what they're hoping is going to be a game changer for Ethereum L2 development. And just so you know, and probably like you saw, Coinbase is enlisting big, big names ahead of the base mainnet launch. In the run-up to launching mainnet for its Ethereum scaling solution base next week, Coinbase has enlisted mainstream brands like Coca-Cola, Atari, OpenSea, Pixelmon, and Showtime to offer daily mints of on-chain collectibles. The mints will highlight art, music, gaming, advocacy, and more. Who do you think made the connection to Coca-Cola for Coinbase? Maybe they did it themselves. Maybe BlackRock helped facilitate. I think that BlackRock is going to be more involved with Coinbase's L2 base than we know at this point. What do you think? Shiba Inu, a little bit of a wild card pick. I'm including them on today's list for two big reasons. Number one, Shiba Inu is listed on Coinbase already. So that's a big connection, you know, one connection away from BlackRock, really. And number two, stuff like this. SHIB developers aim to leave meme coin label behind with new identity protocol launch. SHIB Inu devs announced plans to tie digital identity services to all SHIB platform applications in a move to leave its meme coin status behind. Shiba Inu today announced its work with its developer community to ensure that a self-sovereign identity is prioritized and integrated into its protocols. This also includes SHIB's upcoming L2 network Shibarium so that users interacting with the Shiba Inu ecosystem can maintain complete control over their digital identity while ensuring enhanced security free from the influence of third parties. Self-sovereignty identity is a model for managing digital identities in which individuals or businesses have sole ownership over the ability to control their accounts and personal data. Shiba Inu, I know it's kind of a wild card long shot, but to me, what they're doing now seems like something that BlackRock would be much more interested in than the meme coin stuff they were doing before. You tell me. By the way, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Daily videos just like this, keeping you informed on the entire cryptocurrency market. If you're interested in making money in cryptocurrency, subscribe to our channel. Daily videos.